Welcome to the city center of Tilburg. Today it's Sunday the 11th of June 2023. It's a warm summer day, 20 degrees Celsius. 20, 30. 30 <laughs> degrees. Oh, it's, it's higher. 30 degrees Celsius indeed. And we're going to show you around in the city center. And right now we're at the Heuvelstraat and Heuvelstraat is actually uh, the most important shopping street of Tilburg. You find all uh, large stores. Not all, but most. Most of them in this street. Because we have a new area which we'll be showing today as well. And stores like Primark are uh, on that street. And Tilburg, uh, in, the, uh, in the old days, this was actually the only street when you walked up and down the street. But in the last couple of years, we made major renovations and we completely changed the structure. And now there are all kind of streets uh, and next to the Heuvelstraat where you can roam around, wander around, discover some fun shops. And today we show you the most important parts. Tilburg is a very cool shopping city because basically all the important stores are here. And there are also a lot of events and places to eat and drink. So there's always life in the city. Yeah, and that's mainly because uh, there's a university in the city. So we do also have a lot of students and they bring life to the city. And that's why there is a lot of restaurants and bars. And we're staying in the shade today. Because it is hot in the sun. And this is an important part to show you. This is a street, Frederikstraat, we added. There used to be a shop here. And now we made a stray breakthrough and have a street over there. Let's go to the Emma Street or the Emma Passage. Yeah, I will show you on the other and side. And when you go, uh, go to the left, you come to the Pieter Vrede Plein. And With that's, the cinema. Yeah, the cinema. You will find the cinema over there and also some shops. I don't think we will we, show you that square today. No, we we'll have we have two cinemas in the city. One on the outskirts of the city and one in the center of town. Both of the same um, company. supply company these days. They used to be different, but now it's... Both is pate, which, uh, which is fine. And you also find a butcher in the street. Very good butcher Still. here. Still very good butcher. He, he will leave this, uh, this spot. Yes. Yes, oh. and that's a pity because he's over here for plenty of years. Where will you, you go? He will stay in the uh, store, uh, stores he has there left in Tilburg West and in Tilburg North. Oh. And now butcher in the city center anymore. And we'll go right here. We'll go to the right over here. Got the Dunkin' Donuts over there, so a Taco Bell over there, so we've got also the major. Maybe we can show the Heuvel. Oh yes. For a short sure. while. This is the main square of the city, so good to know you find one of the two large churches in the city center. You'll find on the Heuvel a nice seating area for all the cafes and bars. Oh, one of the seating areas. And of areas. course, it's the central square for the fun fair next month. Yes, we'll be filming that as well. Because we have the biggest fun fair of the Benelux and it's uh, very famous because it goes right through the center of town. And it really has, it is, it's a cool event. Yeah. 10 days. Over 1 million visitors in 10 days. And that's wild. Even if you don't like fun fairs, this one is fun because it's in the city center. There's, it's full of life. There are festivals around it, music, live music. And so just, much to do. Just to see the people is. You can just sit on a terrace all day just watching people. It's amazing. So 
so much diversity. Mm -hmm. And now we walk up to Biersplein, and that's actually the most famous square for the bars. If you want to discover the nightlife of Tilburg, you have to go there. Uh, this and the small street. The Stadhuisstraat. Yes. See the whole street uh, if you would like to translate it, but Stadhuisstraat. And of course, the, uh, at the Heuvel, there are a lot of bars. But when it's nice weather like this, this is the place. This is the place to be. You can come by car to the city center. We've got several parking garages, but it's basically best to come by bike. Parking but your car costs money. Not the same amount like Amsterdam, but still you have to pay and buy a bike, it's free. Or by train, and you okay. come in, and uh, it's just a few minutes walk up to the city center from the central station. Make sure you get out on the right side, yeah. otherwise you will discover another nice area, but you won't see the city center. The other side is more uh, industrial. Industrial library is there. Also, a lot of cool restaurants. We have a video of that area as well on our channel. Yes, sports on. Um, and here you find the McDonald's. Yep. And uh, maybe you can show it. This was built late 80s. Because and you. This made was me. actually <laughs> one of the first McDonald's in the Netherlands. Um, and they really wanted to come to Tilburg, so we gave them a permit to build here. And now we try to get rid of them on this square because we want to redesign the square. But of course, McDonald's says, well, we're in the city center, this is the best place we can get. So we stay here. Yep, I saw. And here we come to a part of the new structure. This used to be a sh uh, an indoor shopping mall, hall. Well, what did we call it? An indoor shopping street. And now we removed the, the ceiling. Now it's a street again. And this square of the crossing we just showed you, that goes right here if you enter it. Then you come out here. And this is a really cool spot. I really love this. It's brand new and lots of places to drink good coffee, get some shade. It's a more quiet place in the city center, but I love it. Here you find a large bookstore. Really here. good bookstore. Uh, yeah. Okay. I would say you can recognize the city on its bookstores. And Tilburg has a great one, so a good city, I guess. And you see it's brand new because there are still shops that are coming yeah, here, soon. Here was the uh, selfie spot. Yeah, well, the so only that's is gone. Uh, only is taking over. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. <coughs> and on the screen up there, you see some blow apart. And of course, some commercials. This one is for this street. <laughs> and actually quite cool. The art goes on on the ceiling when you walk under it. And the wall here will become entirely green. Looking it will take it. a while. Yep. I hope it will get green soon. And there is a market in Tilburg. On it's the Saturday? Fresh fruits, vegetables, nuts and stuff. And that's basically here and on the left. And there, sometimes on Sunday, there are stands with others, like now today. Yep. 
Curioso. Over this big block is our city hall. And we walk down there again. Yep. And I want to say we also have got like a book festival and they use the same stands. So and that's check called out the uh, books around the palace. And that's because there is a small palace over there built by King Willem II. He actually never lived there. And I'm not sure if we can visit the square already because it will reopen uh, quite soon. A refurbished complete square with a lot of greenery as, and also this one. This used to be one concrete area with a, yeah, a kind of swimming pool, swimming pool-ish ish fountain. Nobody entered because it kind of looks uh, icky. And now they made this lovely green square. With water. With water. Which and you can feel the temperature drop. Yeah. If you walk in what the from the shopping right? street. It's a lovely place. And you can see people sitting around, having a conversation, having some drinks on the terrace, or playing around in the water. Right from the south. I might even be jealous. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect day to play in the Play in the water. water. I like these waterfalls so much. So here we've got some brand stores and the Primark. And you see bikes here everywhere. We've got three bike parkings, but yeah, people keep choosing convenience. We will add a fourth one actually later this year near uh, the theater. They will add a new one. Oh. If you come in by bike, you can park your bikes for free in those uh, those biking places. So you can look them up on tilburg.nl where you can locate your bike. They are supervised and they are free. Let's see, can we come up the square already? Because it's still closed down. Uh, it's still closed. Well, once it open, we'll show you. As you can see here, also there they added trees. Well, I will show you when it's open. We'll go back. We will end this video in front of the second church. Yeah. And leave you there. And not before we showed the great statue, the statue I love in the city center. Yeah. The man in the wind. I wonder, let us know why you watch this video, what you like, what you didn't like, and why you're interested in Tilburg. Why you're going to visit. Always nice to hear from you know people we make these videos for and interact with you so we'd love to hear from you in the comments have you visited Tilburg or will you visit and are you why? and why, and why are you maybe relocating to Com Tilburg? Coming, coming to the fun fair oh yeah maybe if you do let us know yeah maybe we can, we can arrange a little surprise for you maybe yeah yeah just let us know would be cool but here, uh, this was not high step, but what we walked. Yeah, the other... Uh, the other area with a lot of bars. Nightlife area. And let's also show the old market. One of the also oldest parts. Another place to eat. We've got lots of food, people. Just coming A lot of good food, Just even. coming for the snacks and you'll be uh, <laughs> great. Maybe we can show... The water pump as well. It's not working anymore. But on the old market, on the terrace of Anvers, you will find the old water pump. It's right on the middle 
of the terrace, but they are not allowed to relocate. Did you know that? That they are not allowed to relocate a water pump? No, no. And this is actually one of my favorite statues in town. This man walking in the wind. You can find him right across the church. And this is where we say goodbye for now. So we hope to see you in the next video. Yeah, and if you like this video, help us by liking and subscribing. You'll be doing us a great favor. Thank you very much. Thank you very much and see you in our next video. Mm -hmm.